Good afternoon, everybody. Okay, and uh, welcome back to our week, our second class of week six. And we continue this class from where we stopped last time. Yes or no? And what did we do last time? Good. Smiling face there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I was on the quiz. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> make sense? Please, please, try to remember. Yeah, go. We are. Ah, very good. And we use the Zener diode to, to do what exactly? What's the purpose? Not the reverse. The other one. Breakdown. To model the breakdown zone of the diode. Ah, and we build that breakdown. Ah, and the breakdown model is at the end. The one who is not sure whether raising or not. Uh, like what? Very good. And we modeled the, the breakdown diode ah, as a battery and resistor in series. Ah. We don't have to go to the details. You have to do that. Then what did we do after that? Who was with us last time? Who was here last class? Only one? Two? In or out? You were here? You, you, yeah. Uh, okay, what did you do? Uh, I don't remember. So you are the only one who remembers here, huh? Okay, go ahead. What can we do? Ah, that's also good. And what else after that? The whole thing after that? What? Very good. And we touch the ear rectifier, yes or no? When we use the rectifier, and we study the rectifier, uh, the rear rectifier, huh? rectifier. We, don't, we didn't use the ideal diode. So, very good. And after that, what do we do? That's it. Then we enjoyed lots of videos there. It was a crazy day of videos, but I think you enjoyed them, right? They were nice? I also I changed that uh, um, that class video uh, in the class in the course channel. You can uh, check the links there where the videos they had bad sound. Yes or no? Check them. You can take the link and then just uh, watch it or go to the channel of the course and then you can see the other videos where the sound was not that clear. Ah, very good. Now continuing the uh, continuing uh, from where we start. Basically, the half wave rectifier, we have to mention something really important in practice, and that is the first thing which is characteristic of all of all devices. Any device, yani any electronic component, must have a limit. Limit of what? Limit of wattage. If you remember the zener, I mentioned the, the power rating, yes or no? Even the resistors they have, any device. Huh? means that if the power going through this device is above a limit, that device will, will die. Yes or no? Yes or no? That's what it is. We call it the power rating. The same thing in here. So now for the diode in the forward, talking about the forward case, when the currency is going through, yes or no? Uh, the voltage in that case is roughly how much across the diode? About how much? About so 0.7. Now? Because it looks like a, a voltage drop, yes or no? And the power is equal to what? The power is equal to what? How we calculate the power of any, any device? Raise your hand. I think this is a basic. And don't talk. Everyone here, raise your hand. Whoever knows. You don't know how to calculate the power of the water? They don't know how to calculate the power. The power. The power. The power. The power. Yeah. What do you mean in general? There's only a power. Yeah. You are in? Ah, but still we are below 20. <laughs> okay, Musa, remind us. That's it. Voltage times the current. Now we know the voltage for the diode. Yes or no in the forward? It's about 0.7. So if we know the power rating of the diode, ah, means the maximum power that it can, ah, can, uh, can have, or can consume if you want, so the power divided by that 0.7 volt will give us the maximum current that the diode will take and allow. Otherwise, we'll 
And using that information, we can put also the resistor, yes or no? To make the current below this current. And that current, we call it the current handling capability. That's basically the maximum power or the maximum current that the diode will take. And that's what we are talking about here. Okay? Got it? For others who do not know power, please remember. Because this is the basic. And if you don't know this, this is... Uh, no comment. So, now, we come to the other characteristic. But this one is specific for, for what? For the diode. The rectifier, it does rectification. Yes or no? It allows the currents to go one side, one way, but not the other. Yes or no? So, now, when it doesn't allow for the, for the case of the half wave rectifier, when the signal is negative or when the diode is in the inverse, there's no current, yes or no? But the diode has also voltage across it, yes or no? Yes, it is negative. But there is a voltage, yes or no? So, what's the condition for the rectifier to continue rectification? Let me help you with that. So the rectifier will continue rectification only if it does not go to the breakdown. Yes or no? Because if that reverse the voltage increasing, it was big, 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 up to the knee voltage. Yes or no? The zener knee voltage. If it reaches that, it will con conduct. Yes or no? But we don't want that. Yes or no? We don't want the diode to conduct in the reverse. Meaning, we don't want the diode to reach the breakdown. Yes or no? Because if it reaches the breakdown, boom, that's it. You understand? Then there is no rectification, means the current will pass in the opposite direction, yes or no? And we said that the rectifier huh, is a rectifier because it allows the current to go one way only and blocks the other one, yes or no? Got it? Simple, huh? Any question? Clear? So, the condition is that the diode should not reach the breakdown in the reverse. Continue blocking the, the current, yes or no? Very good. So that maximum voltage that the diode can uh, sustain and not break, go into breakdown, we call it the PIV, the peak inverse voltage, the maximum inverse voltage. But this is given by what? It's by the circuit, because the circuit will tell you, uh, from the circuit, you can know how much is that maximum inverse voltage, yes or no? Using KCL, KBL, whatever, huh? You understand? Very good. So from the circuit, we can calculate the PIV, means the maximum reverse voltage that is applied on the diode. And we want that to be less than this, than the VZK, which is the breakdown, yes or no? By how much? By 50%. Meaning what? In this case, I have to draw something, okay? Let's say this is the ideal characteristic of a real diode. That, hold on. So here, okay, we have the breakdown here, almost there, and then Something like that, yes or no? The ID characteristic. <coughs> yes or no of a real diode, yes or no? Good? Very good. <coughs> so what we know is that the breakdown almost starts at minus VZK, yes or no? At this voltage. Yes or no? So the PIV, which is the uh, reverse voltage that is applied on the diode in that particular rectifier, that maximum voltage must be below the VZK. Yes or no? So I will write it in uh, red. Okay. The PIV must be somewhere here. Yes or no? Because if the maximum voltage that the circuit will apply on the diode is reaching VZK, then that diode will be conducting. Yes or no? It will go into the breakdown. Yes or no? And that means the current also will be, will go in the opposite way. It went in the positive way. But now we'll go also in a negative way, which makes the rectifier nonsense. Means it does not rectify, it allows the current to go in and out. And that's a condition that we should not break. Yes or no? Clear? Very good. Excellent. So the only thing that we meant here by this equation is a rule of thumb. The rule of thumb is like this. You are very good engineers. Okay, that's what it means. You're very good. That's what it means. And that very good engineer, this is a rule that people they take to be in the safe side. What does it mean? It means this distance here, VZK, huh? to be equal to this distance plus half of it, which is this distance. Yes or no? Do you understand what 
in this? So now in this case, the VZK here will be equal to the PIV of the circuit plus 50% of that PIV uh, to be in the safe side. That means if I want to make my rectifier, I want to buy a diode that has VZK that is equal to one and a half the PIV of my rectifier. Yes or no? And I go to the shop, I need VZK of this range. Oh yeah, we have it. You understand? And in that case, the rectifier will be why will be good, and we we'll make sure that our rectifier will never be in the breakdown. We have purchased a diode with VZK that is higher than the PIV of my rectifier by fifty percent. So I'm on the safe side. Yes or no? So the circuit in the reverse mode will be here. It will not reach here by any means, but we need fifty percent ah, extra to be in the safe side. Yes or no? Clear? So now the rectifier will be a good rectifier. It will never reach the breakdown. Good enough? Any question? Alas? Let's go. Let's go, let's go. That's it. That's the rule of thumb. So that rule of thumb is a design rule of thumb. It's just for you to design a good rectifier. That's it. Nothing more. Alright. This we have already mentioned. The exponential model and small input uh, signal. I'm not going to waste my time there or your time. And then we have a storm here. I hope that everything is okay. Wow, we are in our class today after about uh, 15 minutes or so. So today we touch the full wave rectifier. So in rectifiers, we said we have two rectifiers. The half wave rectifier, which we studied last time. And the full wave rectifier. And the main difference between the two is that the half wave, yes, Ray? Very good. And the half wave? Very good. It means that the output with half wave rectifier will see only one cycle. The others are banat al It doesn't exist. So we are wasting. Huh? We are wasting a huh? good, uh, good uh, portion, half of the uh, input signal. Yes or no? But for the full wave rectifier, the output will see both the input, the positive cycle of the input, and the negative cycle. But on the same direction. It means positive. Or if you change the reference, you can do that, negative. But never positive and negative at the output, like the input. Okay? So the input has both input plus and minus, but the output will have only plus. Yes, it will have waves, ah, so it change with time, but it's not with two signals, plus and minus, with only one, either positive or negative, but not both. And that's the definition of the rectifier. Clear? Any... Good enough. Very good. Yes. Repeat. Why not? Sure. By all means. My pleasure. So the full wave rectifier, we half wave rectifier, we understand it. Yes or no? We said that it will take the positive cycle and give it to the output. But the negative cycle will stop it. The output will not see it. So the output will say, hmm, when is the next uh, positive cycle? Yes or no? But for the full wave rectifier, will the output will see the because of the rectifier. It will see the positive cycle, and also the negative cycle of the input will see it, but not in the negative cycle. It will see it in the positive side. You understand? You will see later uh, again a uh, demonstration of that, both theoretically and experimentally too. We have another nice video today. Good enough? I like this question. If you don't understand, ask. Repeat, I repeat. My pleasure. Are us clear? All right. Alright, the first flavor, again here we have flavors, we have types. The first flavor of full wave rectifier we have what we call the center tape. It's not written here? Ah, oh, it's written here. The center tape secondary uh, center tape transformer. It uses a special transformer. We'll get to the slide next, but uh, bear with me now. Alright. Okie dokie dokie. So uh, the center tape uh, full wave rectifier. It has a special transformer, which is the center tape transformer. And this transformer has basically what's, not, what's special about the transformer. Do you know what is transformers? What do they do? Yes? Okay, uh, the, input, the input is DC or AC? And the output is? So the purpose of transformer is? Or? That's it. It transforms the voltage. That's it. But it's uh, basically the same. It's AC, AC. Input AC, output AC. Very good. So this nice transformer, the only thing it has, uh, special, is that it gives you the positive and negative voltage in addition to the ground. Okay, 
and that graph is in the between. Meaning that if this guy is one, plus one, this guy, this branch is minus one automatically, and vice versa. So whatever I voltage in here, it becomes negative in this side. If it's negative here, it becomes positive. Because of what? Because and they are uh, because they refer to the same graph in here. Okay. You have to pay for this special and so on. So it's a little bit pricey. Okay. It's a nice teaching. Now, <coughs> and you have dials on each branch, and each branch they need here the two branches they need in this node to go to the resistor and then to the ground, which is this one or this one, same thing. And the output is cross this resistor. We'll talk about this. This is what we call the characteristic or the transfer characteristic. Why we call it transfer characteristic? It's because it shows me the output versus the input. The output versus the input. Transfer. In, out. You understand? So everything, any electronic device has transfer characteristic. The input of the output versus the, the input. We'll detail this next. Don't worry. <clears throat> now, as your friend asked, you can see here in blue, in, in dark, in the uh, in the black curve here is the input and the output is the one in blue you see here even for the negative cycle i have an output yes or no see here so the input now in positive cycle we have the output in blue and when the uh, input is negative i have also another cycle but in the same direction in the positive you understand so that's why we call it full wave that's fine but i'm not going to stop there we have to move we go now cycle by cycle. This one is the positive cycle. So in the positive cycle, there's some time for here. I have to change the slides, but uh, never mind. So in here, in the positive cycle, we have this branch is positive, and this branch is negative. Actually, it's correct. So this branch is positive, and this branch is negative. Very good. But this branch is ground, zero. Okay, okay, okay. Now, this is positive, and this is negative. At the beginning, uh, there was no current, basically, so, uh, of course, uh, there was no current, that means the ground was there. So, this was higher than this, yes or no? So, and uh, this is a zero, and this is zero, and this is negative. So, negative and zero. Remember here, what did we have? We have a diode like that one, exactly the same shape, yes or no? So, the anode negative at the cathode is zero. So, the diode will be on or off? Will be on or off? Off, of course, because... The anode is below the cathode. Yes or no? Doesn't work. So, block. So that's why we took it off. Then, <clears throat> so now the current will go through here, assuming that we have enough voltage here. Uh, we we'll go through here, and then comes in, coming here, this is off. So the bye bye. So continue, and then go through the resistor here, and then go to the ground. Yes or no? Good enough. Clear. Keep going. Now in the negative cycle, okay, that means now uh, that's the type of actually. So here basically become positive and this uh, become negative. So in this case, this is positive and this. So assuming that there was no current, so initially, initially, this is uh, there's no current. That means the ground was there, there, there. This is positive, ah, because the, we have switched the, the uh, phase. Now this is positive. This is ground. So D two becomes what? Becomes on. Yes or no? Because this voltage, the anode, is bigger than the cathode. Yes or no? But here, the poor guy here, we have here negative, and here zero, negative and zero, the anode is below the cathode. Yes or no? Because it's negative now. Yes or no? And this is zero at the very beginning. So this diode will be what? Oh, very good. So now the current now goes this way. This way. This way. Oh, I cannot go this way. Bye-bye. So we go now back. The resistor to the ground is the same form. So from the previous, from previous and the current, did the current change across the resistor? It was the same. Ah, let's see. Ah, let's go back. This is the previous. In the positive cycle, when we have here positive and it's negative, the current was from up to down. Yes or no? Okay, good. So let's go now to the next one. Ah, uh, you see, you see, again, the, set, the current was going also from top to down, yes or no? So, the voltage here, did, uh, did it uh, change, does it change any, uh, any signal, any, any sign? Did it change sign? It did not. Why? Because the current did not change the direction. So, we have what? Uh, 
So it is what? It is rectified. So you see, the input has changed sign, yes or no? But the output did not change sign. In the current, they have changed direction, yes or no? And then the current and the output did not change. You see? So we have what? We have rectifier in this case. But the rectifier for both cycles, positive and negative, of the input. Yes or no? Clear? So that's the full wave rectifier. The first type of full wave rectifier. Any question? Move on? Good. Hello. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. This is another bonus question. Okay. I want you to go back to that circuit that we studied just now. And I want you to have a look at the PIB of that circuit. Find the peak inverse voltage of the center table rectifier. You will find it here. Explain how. I don't want any plagiarism. I want you to own your own work. Your own analysis. Okay? Yes, go ahead. No, no, don't answer this. I don't want your answer. Send it to me by email. Okay? All right? Can write it or write it? Uh, you can write it on a piece of paper, take snapshots, send it to me, or type, write it on email. It's up to you. Do not copy. I have very nice nose. I can smell the copying or plagiarism. Huh? Okay? Do not do any mistake like that. I want to see your understanding of how you find the peak inverse of this full wave rectifier, the center tape. You will find it like this. This is us. How? This is what you need to send it to me. The deadline for this, and we are busy. It will be the end of Thursday. Thursday at 5 p.m., I want all the answers. After Thursday, 5 p.m., there's no answer accepted. Okay, please take note. This way. No. Ah, I know. Tomorrow. <laughs> okay? So work nice, work hard, and do a good job, and show me that you understand. If you do any copying, trust me, you will not get the bonus. But if you do a good job, understand, then definitely you will be confident. Now, what's the PIB for the half-wave rectifier that we studied before? Can somebody tell me now, quickly? The PIB of the half-wave rectifier that we studied before. Yes, President? Only VS. Excellent. Why? Because that's the only voltage that we have across the diode when it's reverse bias. Yes or no? Excellent. All right, good. All right, the second type of the full-wave rectifier is the, the bridge rectifier. And we have here a project, maybe, I will uh, make it a surprise next time, okay? So in the bridge rectifier, which is the second type, we have, we are using a, a simple transformer, or we are not using a transformer at all. We don't care about the transformer anyways. We have an AC signal, that's all what we care. So this is not so special. Now in here, this is the bridge that we have. So basically, we have two, uh, two branches, this branch and this branch of diodes, and between them, there is a resistor, and that's where the output is taken. Okay? Good. And we have to have ground here. This is also very important. Don't you? Without that, problems will come. All right? So how does it work? And before we go further, actually, uh, before we go further, I have to take you back to the uh, previous, the very first the transfer curve. This back to the transfer curve, I forgot to mention that. Now, the output will not exist in the center tape. Only, only, let's say one branch, let's say this branch is working. Only when Vs is above Vd, yes or no? That's why the output is zero here. When Vs is below Vd, yes or no? As soon as Vs is above Vd, for example, in the case of this branch is on, then the output will, will exist. Now, how do I find this slope? Very simple. Very simple. How do I find it? Very simple. So, we find it like this. When we conduct, when this diode is conducting, of course, this one is off. So, the output voltage here is equal to what? Is equal to this voltage from this node to this node, which is nothing but Vs, minus Vd. Yes or no? True or no? Yes or no? Any question about that? Okay. So, Vs, I will write. V, oh, sorry, V out is equal to Vs minus V. 
VB. Yes or no? Now, if there's any change in uh, VS, that means I have to uh, make this a shape. Yes or no? So delta of constant is what? Alive. So we have delta V out. Is equal to delta VS, yes or no? That means I can write basically delta V out over delta VS equal to what? One. And that's basically the slope of this line, yes or no? The slope is delta V out over delta VS, so it has to be one. Yes or no? It's written almost one because, you know, our model is not perfect. There's some resistance in the diagram. You understand? Cool enough? Very good. And see, this is in the positive cycle, yes or no? From zero to plus infinity. Now, in the negative cycle, the same story, yes or no? Because in this case, this branch will work, yes or no? And again, the out is going to be equal to also Vs minus Vd. The same equation and the same delta. Uh, actually, in this case, uh, Vs, we have negative in this case, sorry. In the negative cycle, we have minus Vs, yes or no? So that's why you will have here minus Vs, minus Vd. So the differentiation will become minus 1. So it's like a mirror here, okay? Between the negative cycle and the positive cycle. Now, this is the transfer curve in time domain. The, uh, the voltage will be like this, okay, like we explained. And as you can see, the output is zero between minus Vd and plus Vd. You see this point and this point. So at this point, actually Vs is less than Vd. So V out becomes zero, and Vs go down, 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 until Vs becomes below minus Vd, and at that time the output will, will go on. Yes or no? Well, on the same direction, means the positive Any question about this? Is it clear what we are doing? What about the video? Doing fine? Good. <clears throat> so I have to go back here. Always the rectifier, you have to look at the transfer characteristic. And of course, the time domain or the time, uh, the time curve of the input and output too, because that's what you're going to see. And that's what we are going to see later as well. Okay? So let's go back to, uh, <clears throat> to our. So we reach the second flavor of, of the full wave rectifier, and that is the bridge rectifier, which is this one. We explained it, we don't need that. So now let's go to its to its explanation. How does it work? Okay? Now, in the positive cycle, what happens? So this voltage is bigger than this voltage, yes or no? This is positive, this is negative. The reference is here, yes or no? So now, what we have here, the voltage here is positive, and here negative. Let's start. This is positive, and this is ground. So this diode, that was how much? That was, that was like what? The cathode was like, let's go back. So you can, you can pass me that. Uh, let's go back. Okay? So it was like this. Yes or no? This is the cathode. Uh, the, the anode. This is the cathode. Yes or no? So now, the uh, anode is zero, and this one is Positive, yes or no? So this diode will be? Oh, I don't know. So bye bye. So now, but this one, at the, at the very beginning, there is no current, assuming, okay? So this is zero, zero, zero. This one is positive, and this one is zero. So at the beginning, then, this will start to conduct, yes or no? Boom. And then, we come here. This voltage has to lose some voltage in here, yes or no? Because this is voltage drop across the diode, yes or no? Very good. So still here, the, the voltage is positive, it's not, uh, ah, it has to be negative. So here, it's less than here by VD, but still positive. So that means it's, this is positive, but this one is negative. Which one was the cathode that I know? So let's go back, let's see, maybe we have a shot in it. So this is the cathode, this is the anode. Okay, let's go forward. So the cathode was positive, but the anode was negative. So the diode would be? Boom. Then the charge will come here. Oh, enjoy, Jojo. Come here. Oh, this is zero. And this is, I should go to the ground. But we have here negative. Yes or no? Uh, very good. So this is zero and this is negative. The current will go. The dial will be on or off? Because this is zero and this is negative. So still, the anode is bigger than the cathode. Yes or no? So it will continue its journey back to the source. Yes or no? Very good. So our our charge will lose some voltage in here, will come here, and then we'll lose another voltage in here before returning home. Yes or no? Very good. It's like this, basically. Okay. 
Like this, nice chart. Let's follow that chart. You go into there, 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 and then lose some voltage there, and come there, 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 and then come there, and then lose some voltage there, there, there. So the current on this path went which way? From this node, from right to left, or left to right? Very uh, good, that's another thing. That's it, that's what it is. Yes or no? From right to left. Now let's move on to the next case when we have here a, a negative cycle. Okay? Now in the negative cycle, the same analysis is applied. Yes or no? So now this voltage is bigger, this is positive, now this is negative. And then now what happens? So this is zero, this is negative. And. Ooh, how do you remember that? So this one was like what? So which one was the cathode? This one or this one? So this is a cathode? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So the cathode is positive and the anode is zero. Mm -hmm. So the anode is below the cathode. Mm -hmm. So the diode will be? Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So come here. Of course, assuming uh, there's no current at the beginning, so this is zero. This is positive, this is negative. So I can jump, yes or no? Mm -hmm. And the electron will lose some voltage, of course. Uh, yes or no? And then come here and then. This is still positive, but this one is negative, yes or no? Mm -hmm. So now the anode, where's the anode? So this. So here the anode is negative and the cathode is positive. So the anode is below the cathode, yes or no? Mm -hmm. So that's why this diode will be? Okay. Oh, that's it. So now it will come here and comes here. But when it comes here, it finds that there's a negative there. So yeah, very good. So I'll, I'll go, because the current and the chart, they go always to the lowest voltage. They cannot stop here. So if there is lower, then go lower. Yes or no? Very good. So that comes here, that chart, the nice one. And we'll see that there's a path here, huh? because the voltage there is bigger than that. So we'll go there and lose another VD and then go to the source. That's it. That's it. So let's follow that nice chart. So the chart will come, let's follow. That one here. Okay, and then comes here. What is that? And then lose some voltage there, and then go that, huh? and then go to that part again, and lose another voltage, mm -hmm. and then go back to the source. So that's basically how the current has moved around. So the current across the resistor means the output went to which way? From right to left or left to right? So the same story, yes or no? So from right to left. So the current did not change. It's direction one again, what? Rectifier. Full wave rectifier. Because the current was on for both cycles. Yes or no? Yes or no? Good. Is it difficult? Isn't that uh, sweet? That's sweet, very nice. It's not it's not big deal at all, so don't be scared about the factor electron. And uh move, move back. Can you please switch off the light? So what I want to show you here in this is again another experiment of now in this case the full wave rectifier than the bridge one. The one that you saw at the beginning uh, of last class uh, of the uh, uh, AC to DC converter. You see it again. So let me try to uh, show you that. Okay. Again, some cinematographic skills. From my lab, the electronic lab that you will uh, take next time. Hi again, uh, this is Dr. Ismail Al Sassi. Uh, here we are uh, in the second part of uh, the application of the diode rectification, basically. And uh, in this segment of the experiment, we'll talk about what? About the full wave rectifier, which is schematically, uh, you know, explained in this. Schematically means schematic. Which is source or source. Uh, Five or five volt, yeah. uh, that be, and uh, and that hurt, and then connected to the rectifier. This rectifier, what's it called? Uh, this is the this one of the types of the full wave rectifiers. That one okay. that we studied just we studied in our course. The other type, I let it uh, you guess it. Okay, and of course the bridge is this cross the message. Bridge. Okay, yes. uh, cross bridge. So I'm taking our output. So now uh, we go to the circuit. This is the circuit. Okay, let's go and uh, you know let's do some uh, 
we lost 0.9 for 2 PD, that means 1 PD is not 0.45. And if you remember the alpha magnifier, we have seen that VB or the variable V was about 0.4 so V is about 0.88 or 0.9, which is the distance between the peak voltage of the input minus the peak of the voltage of the output. So yes. Let me let me explain that. Oh, look, uh, we'll have to draw something here. So look, uh, follow me here. Huh? So the input, uh, let's see, look, was like this. Yes or no? The peak here was 2.5. Yes or no? 2.5. 2.5. And this one is minus 2.5. Yes or no? Because peak to peak was 5. Yes or no? So, but the output, let's uh, draw it here now uh, a little bit like this. So it's like this. Now it's off. So remember this value now is this value. Okay, let me try to uh, draw what you need now. Yeah. Okay, it's visible. Now is this value. This is the peak to peak, but there's no peak here. So it's actually the peak. Yes or no? Peak to peak means from here to here. So it's basically this one. So it's equal to how much? Uh, 1.6 So remember this, we'll come back to it. Let's continue this. The experiment, okay. And we have a full test. A full testifier. Experimental, experimentally proven. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the experiment and uh, we you enjoyed the experiment? Nice. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. See you next uh, next time. That's it for this uh, movie. Okay. That's it. Can you switch on the uh yeah, all right. So uh, we will explain this, these results next. But remember before I do that, remember something that we did last time also. And what is it? When we, uh, when I did the experiment of the half-wave rectifier, how much we found V0? 0 0.44, if you remember that one. When we subtract the output from the input. Yes or no? We found that VD is equal to 0.44. For those who don't remember, go back to that video, okay? You will find it. Okay. So V0, so therefore, was equal, or VD actually, uh, is equal to 0 0.44 for all about, basically, for 40 millivolts. Yes or no? Okay, that's what we did last time. But let's, let's just get it going with this, okay? So that means we go next. All right, so what's the main advantage of the bridge rectifier? What's the main advantage? The main advantage is that we don't use special transformer. Yes or no? There's no need for that center tape transformer. We have to pay price. We are engineers, stingy. We don't want to lose money. We want to gain money. Yes or no? So we don't want to pay extra cost for this. Okay. And what's the main disadvantage? The main disadvantage, remember that that electron has lost in its path two VDs. Yes or no? Two VDs. Yes or no? Because they are both forward, yes or no? So the voltage at the output was equal to the input minus two VDDs, yes or no? So let's write that now. Now I want the red, so V out is going to be equal to Vs minus two VDs. This is for sure. This we know that. Very good. So our output, therefore, will not has lost, so it will not be high enough. It will be weak a bit. By how much? By two VDs, huh? In the halfway rectifier we studied before, or even the center tape, center tape, both of them, the, the current has, or the charge has not only one VD for both previous rectifiers, yes or no? The half wave and the center tape, because the current passed only by one diode, yes or no? But here it passed by two diodes, that's why it lost two VDs, yes or no? So is this a disadvantage, yes or no? So always, there's always advantage and disadvantage. Okay, good. Now, what's the PID of the bridge rectifier? This is what you need to add to your bonus question. It is going to be equal to Vs minus Vd. That you need to prove to me in a nice, clear way by email before 5 p.m. on Thursday. Alas? Clear? Yeah. You have to look at the circuit to calculate it. Okay? And that's it for today's class. So this will be our starting class, next class. So I have to run and get the quizzes. 
Now, before doing that, we have to go back to the experiment that we just studied. So remember, here V out is equal to Vs minus 2 Vds. Yes or no? If we apply now our equation, so 2 times 0 0.44, so it's going to be equal to how much? 0 0.88. Yes or no? Both. Yes or no? Correct? Very correct. So in this case, uh, here, when we come here, so V out, if we apply in our case, going to be equal in terms of, uh, we are talking only about the peak, we are talking about only about this cycle. So it's actually 2.5, yes or no, the maximum here, this value, that's what we are trying to calculate, yes or no, it's going to be 2 point, this one, 2.5, yes or no, this peak, I mean this one, minus 2 VDs, yes or no, 2.5 minus 0.88 volt, yes or no, which is the 2 VDs, yes or no, correct? So this equal to how much? Two point? Uh, one point? One point what? One point, I'll calculate this. There's no need for calculating. If I take, if I make 88 at 90. One point 62, that's it. Without wasting time. So one point 62, and how much we measure? It's almost the same. That's where theory means practice. Yes or no? That's what I want to reach. That nice cycle. A ah, nice circle here. Okay? They are equal. I will delete it. Because this is a very important thing here. Ah, okay? This is where the, the theory meets the practice. In practice, we calculated this, the maximum here, to be 1.6. Yes or no? And the theory said that, yes, we should expect 1.62. Uh, very close, yes or no? See how the theory needs the practice? You cannot prove it in the lab, it doesn't exist. Okay? Good? Very good, excellent. Thank you for coming today. Inshallah, I'll go and grab your quiz and uh, see you next class. So be seated today, yeah? Uh, right now. Okay. What is that? Oh.